Hey there, this is Seth Schaefer from Team Just Cause Robotics. Today I have an important announcement. I'm now the proud owner of Just Cause Robotics LLC. Instead of just a YouTube channel, in order to facilitate selling and distributing my own physical products, I've founded a company. Now this won't change what I plan to do with the YouTube channel, but it's a big step towards trying to make this hobby somewhat financially sustainable. I'm going to do a series of three videos highlighting my first three products. The basic PD board, all-in-one PD board which includes a BEC and power LED, and the Just Cause PCB switch. Today, we'll focus on the basic power distribution board. So this is the basic board. Unlike the AAO board, the basic board doesn't have any actual active components on it whatsoever. You can see here it weighs about 2 grams, and that's because it is literally just a board, that's it. So the way that this is intended to be used is basically uh, as just a way to clean up your wiring. So this makes an electrical connection between your battery, a weapon speed controller, and two drive speed controllers, and it breaks out a VBAT connection and ground connections that could be connected directly to your receiver only if your receiver can take your battery voltage. That is very important to double check. Some receivers can only take up to 8 or 10 volts and they can't take higher than a 2 cell battery, but certain receivers can take not even up to a 2 cell, so you should always check with what receiver that you have. And you can always connect a BEC to this as well. So the basic board is really, really simple. It's basically just a bunch of copper rectangles joined together um, in such a fashion as to connect a bunch of stuff together so that when you connect a switch across this slot here, which you could directly fit a FingerTech switch to, or you can just wire any other external switch, such as one of my Just Cause PCB switches to it. You just put one of the switch leads here, one of the switch leads there, and then when the switch is closed, it bridges these connections, which effectively bridges this rectangle to this rectangle, and that connects the battery positive to the positive connection of your speed controllers. That's really all that this thing is doing. Now, the way that I recommend using this board is you can buy these black, nice looking XT30U connectors from my web store. They are identical to the yellow ones that you'll see more commonly, other than that they look prettier. Um, the way I recommend doing this is you pretty much will get batteries oftentimes with the uh, female connection on them. So you'll use this male connector. The male is the one with the pins. And you'll put that on the bat connection. Keep in mind, there's a curved side and a flat side. The curved side, it'll say on here, and it's kind of hard to see because it's tiny, but the curved side is minus or negative or ground. The positive side plus is the positive connection, or if you're wiring this, you'd usually do red for positive, black for negative, and you always want to connect red to red and black to black. Positive to positive, negative to negative. So you put this in here with the curve matching, that means that your negative side, or the rounded side, is all along this bottom edge, where you can see it says ground up here. And then VBAT is your positive, and that is all across here after it's through the switch. So this terminal connects to the switch, then the switch connects to all those terminals, and then all of the terminals on this side are the ground connections, those are all bridged together. So I would recommend you put then the female sides on the board for the weapon for drive side one and for drive side two. Again, just making sure that all of the curved sides are facing from this orientation the top of the board. This way you guarantee that anytime you plug in your battery and you plug in your speed controllers, you don't plug anything in backwards because you physically cannot plug these together. If you try to do them upside down, they only go one way and they key together like so so that you never have any shorts that will blow up your components by wiring a speed controller to your battery backwards. So this thing will help to reduce the chances of error and it also makes the wiring super, super easy because it takes all of like 30 seconds to just flip this guy upside down and now you've got all of these connector bullets pointing upwards ready for you to just tap your soldering iron to, feed some solder in, and then you can make each connection in like five seconds or less. So this is Shrapnel Mine, my uh, work in progress three pound robot. In Shrapnel Mine, I'm using one of my prototypes of the basic board, but it is functionally almost 100% identical to the version one board that I have in front of you here. Um, and basically, this is what the finger tech switch looks like joined to the board. As you can see, it slots in. You can have it so that the screw faces the front or the back. 
if you really wanted to be creative with it, you could probably turn this 90 degrees and solder it on flat or something. But if you don't want to use the finger tech switch directly on the board, if you'd like to put a finger tech switch or one of my just cause switches remotely somewhere else in your robot, you can easily do that. All you need to do is make sure one of the leads from the switch connects to this slot, one of the leads from the switch connects to this slot. Um, is there a preference to which slot goes where? Uh, sort of, it doesn't really matter that much, um, but ideally you would want the switch plug connected to the battery will be this one and connected to the rest of the robot is this one. So Fingertech recommends that you connect the battery to the top or the, the one closest to the screw here. I recommend, I actually have it labeled on my switchboard that this is the battery and this is the load or the rest of your robot. So the battery connection here would go to right there and the load connection here would go to right there. All right, now let's demonstrate that this thing actually works. With the prototype board, like I said, it's functionally 100% identical to the basic board that I've released that you can buy on my store right now. Now going to switch it on. Now, when I turn on my transmitter, if I didn't plug in everything to receiver backwards, should get some more sounds confirming that it's connected. There we go. And now we can see I have full control over the robot. So yeah, everything works just as it should. Really, it's just plates of copper connecting your battery positive to the positive of switch, and then the output of the switch to the positive sides of all three of the XT30s on there, and the negative sides are all bridged together. Really, really simple. That's all you should need to know about the basic PD boards. I've just launched a brand new website, and I'm currently selling my boards exclusively on there, so follow the link in the description to buy one. And for being a loyal viewer and sticking around to the end of the video, you get a special discount. Enter code LAUNCHWEEK at checkout for 10% off any of my physical products, valid until July 24th at 11.59pm EST. I'll also be bringing some with me to sell at the July 24th Norwalk Havoc event. If you're going to be competing there too, come say hi. I'll be taking Division with me with some small tweaks from last time. If you'd like this video, hit like. If you want to see more like this, subscribe and hit the bell icon. And as always, thanks for watching.